hello guys uh, my name is jay kumar gautam and uh, i am going to be your english trainer for this youtube page divane git i n i a s so guys uh, about me in a brief i am an engineering graduate from uh, rajasthan technical university and uh, and yeah so this is going to be my first lesson as a english trainer for the youtube page and uh, uh, let me just brief you about what all we are going to be covering in this first of our english lesson fine so guys before we actually go to the gist of our this video let me just first tell you why i just decided to go for this specific topic and even just for this specific language only fine so about english guys we all like most of us we have been learning things we have been learning this language since we actually started our education from first standard second standard even in our graduation so what's still that we have missed throughout now guys what happens is uh, like uh, we have been taught english just as a language but rather it should have been taught us as a culture as an emotion as a feeling what happens when you consider english just to be a language it is far more than that. it's sort of a ocean that you are to deep into and uh, more you explore it more deeper you go into it more better you actually get to know about this fine so guys in this lesson let's get back to the point in this lesson we will i will be covering i will be teaching you about the basics about the basic hacks of how you can improve understand and acquire a better command over your english language so guys what happens is man like uh, i have been taught by so many students like my fellow mates that's uh, that we are already good at our technical skills we have completed our graduation but still when we go for an interview when we appear for the interview sessions for the gds for so many things regarding when you actually go for this recruitment session what the most basic problem they found is language they don't know how to speak even if they do try they do try their best but the most common things that uh, they found much troublesome is their communication skills fine so uh, i just wish ki after all these of my lessons you will get a better understanding your language will be improved and plus the english that is uh, given in most of the competitive exams including gate and others uh, there it will be beneficial for you as well fine so let's just start so guys we must have been taught including you as well like read as much as you can read reading people even including our teachers our fellow mates they tell us read as much as you can in order to improve your language guys reading is just not enough it should have been thorough reading and what is thorough reading actually about thorough reading is when just taken for an instance take like uh, you are reading a newspaper and uh, you have picked up a single line of it fine you have gone to a single line of it and uh, it is like uh, the 
murder of a 12 year old child was supposed to be a premediated murder so guys first of all what we are to do we are just to take the sentence read it correctly correctly means its pronunciation what all the points that you are to be focused at throughout the sentence is the pronunciation spellings and uh, understanding fine so in this sentence as uh, I, uh, I pronounce it as the murder of a 12 year old child was supposed 12 years old child was supposed to be a premediated murder what first thing I am to do after reading reading it correctly is to understand the tense just take it like I don't know about this uh, thing about this verb use here supposed to what I am to do I am to google it I am to know about this word fine kya karna hai we are to just go through it I am iske jitna deep ja kar aap iske baare mein research karoge like its uses ye kyu use hua hai specifically here iske synonyms kya hai if it's just a verb or proverb or a phrasal verb or whatever so this is the thing you are just to pick up a single word we are to go inside it to the deepest aapko ek word ke baare mein jitna deep mein ja ke uske baare mein samjhenge sochenge wo word kyu hua hai use kaise hua hai use then you will actually get to understand a language that's english fine further continuing listening okay so about listening thing guys what happens is when uh, you watch movies uh, specifically hollywood movies netflix series so what happens ki when you listen them fine some of the word may sound you different that you actually heard them earlier before somewhere fine like uh, there is a uh, uh, this word uh, american languages fine and uh, you must have heard it somewhere else to be told that called as american languages just uh, try to understand the simplest thing it's called accent fine accent and pronunciation here we have these two things what's the difference pronunciation is like uh, how you actually pronounce that word Use bula kaise jata hai and uh, accent is more like uh, there is this word iske kis word par kis letter par aapko stress jata jana hai accent is more of a regional thing of uh, a specific uh, city and country accent uh, depending upon countries regions badal jata hai but pronunciation is forever same fine so accent kis word par aapko kis hisab se kitna zyada stress dena hai that's what pronunciation is about and accent is about fine so this was the reading this was the listening and then comes the writing section mm, i hope it's uh, visible to you so guys uh, what uh, we are to do in writing section it, if you have picked up a word you have understood it completely that uh, how it is to be used and where it is to be used correctly then further you will you will write down the examples but do remember that these examples are based upon your practical life fine how uh, like uh, if you have uh, just picked up this verb supposed to here supposed to ka matlab kya hota hai supposed to is like uh, like uh, if uh, if someone is 
supposed to do something it means they are expected to do it supposed to is like uh, same thing expected to but supposed to sounds more smarter than expected to fine so yeah this is the thing you are to understand it but write down all the examples depending upon your personal life like uh, start imagining in english start thinking in english and uh, yeah hope i just wish that the sooner you will get to uh, have a better command over it fine so guys i hope that uh, this lesson would be much fruitful to you aapko bahut kuch samajh mein aaya hoga so in case you have any sort of queries regarding this lesson and further lessons that uh, i will be updating sooner as up actually you can write down in the comment sections given below or you can simply dm me to my facebook profile attached to this video fine Thank you so much for being so patient. Hope you have a great time learning English. Thank you so much.